Welcome back to Walls Today, where Walls Today is Beachhead, a 1985 release running here on the Apple IIe and Virtual 2. From Access Software, running on BDOS by Brent Erickson here. It's Beachhead. This is a Bruce Carver uh, game. Uh, he went on to work on many other games, but here we're looking at Beachhead, the Apple version from Brian Brandenburg. And Sculptured Software Incorporated. Let's hit return to get into it. Uh, so I've got a joystick connected, so I'm going to leave that on uh, J for joystick. And I'm hit 1 for uh, skill 1 of a one-player game. Get ready, player 1. This is an action game uh, with multiple phases. Uh, this first phase, uh, we're selecting our entry point. We're trying to storm that beachhead that's over on the left there. Uh, we can go through there, or we can go in here. Let's let's go in here, so I, I want to show you the whole game. You can actually skip this whole section that I'm about to show you if you just go uh, past this, but you can you can also beach here first if you want to, if you want to live that life. Got a klaxon sounding, and we got to get ready again here. We're going to get ready a lot here, I feel. Uh, the joystick control is pretty straightforward. Using the joystick to move. Uh, here it's kind of... Uh, you're evading mines and guns, I guess. And it's kind of tank controls here, so you gotta kind of press up to go forward, and then use left and right. Steer. Let's see if we can get through. Oh no. Don't want that to happen. Okay. You do get a good number of ships. Uh, I don't know, this. There's, there's multiple screens to this, and I don't know if you uh, reset the number of screens that you have to do every time you die. I don't know if that's what's going on. Oh, man. Let's see how many screens we go through here, how many ships we go through, I'm trying to get through this minefield. You can slow down. That's also a good strategy. You want to avoid these bullets, I'm guessing. I didn't avoid them there, though. Uh, this came out originally for the C64, it came out also for the Atari 8-bit, the ZX Spectrum, uh, Thompson computers, the Enterprise, the Amstrad CPC, the BBC Micro, the Electron, the Apple II, which we're looking at here, and the Commodore 16, and the MSX. Let's uh, get to the other screen here. Okay, we're getting, we're getting somewhere now. Let's see if we can get through all these screens and uh, storm the beachhead. Uh, so I can show you the rest of the game, because the rest of the game is not like this. There's uh, there's multiple phases. Uh, the next phase we'll get into here after this. I, I believe we'll be shooting down some planes, so you got that to look forward to. Uh, and then uh, we'll be shooting down some ships, and then we'll be in a tank. Uh, tr be trying to get through another sequence. It's kind of like this, but it's more of like a side-scroller. And then... Uh, we're going to be attacking attacking the final big boss at the end. Let's see if we got through. Nope. Still going. Still got to get through these mines. Okay. I don't know how many screens we got to get through here. But y yeah, you can skip all of this if you don't care about points. So, you know, if I'm not successful here, I might... I might do that at some point. If I run out of ships. I think your ships replenish with each phase. I could be wrong. Hopefully I haven't... Uh, ruin my chances of getting through on this run by taking this path. Oh no. Oh, that was close. I almost hit that mine. Kind of close here. Uh, but we're making it. Still going. <laughs> Man. Oh no. So hopefully that didn't put us back uh, all the way to the beginning. I don't know. Good test if we get through this and, and we get to the next phase. That means we got some continued progress, but... That means we gotta, we gotta get through this first. Let's see. Was that the last ship or is that... Yeah, we gotta get ready player one here. I think it's going to kick us back to uh, this screen. So I guess we ran out of ships there. And it still let us through. 
So maybe this is like a bonus stage, you don't have to worry about it. I don't know why we have ships on the aerial recon screen, but... Let's get ready again here, this, ne this next phase. Maybe you can't get through that bonus phase, I don't know. You're just doing what you can. Uh, but now I think we'll be on the on the small guns to try to take out some airplanes. Of the forty millimeters, I'm trying to shoot down planes. We can go up and down and left and right. Um, I, I have to admit, some of these like it feels like I should be hitting the planes, and I never do. And it, it's like, well, they passed entirely through where my bullets would have been going, and. I don't understand the physics of how I would be shooting my guns in a path and not hitting them, but maybe that's just me. Uh, maybe there's something I'm missing here, but we got that one. Uh, the next phase is much more distance-based, so we'll see that once we get to it. Uh, there we'll be shooting those ships that we see right now. We don't have to worry about those right now. We just have to worry about the planes. Let's try to take down as many planes as we can. I don't know if trying to dodge their shots matters, or if they just hit you regardless of your position on the screen, based on some random calculation. I don't know. Great questions here for Beachhead. Uh, but now we're going into the next phase. We're blasting the ships. Let's try uh, to take, take out these ships as fast as possible. Uh, so th there'll be one ship firing at us at a time, so we want to take out the ship that's firing uh, so they don't hit us. Uh, but you can see there we've got the distance at the bottom right, and we've got our 250 millimeter. So I'm going to go far on this one because uh, they look like they're far. So is that the maximum distance? Let's try maximum distance. Uh, so if we don't see a splash, that means we're past them. If we do see a splash, that means we're in front of them. So we want to find the distance between seeing a splash and not seeing a splash. Didn't see a splash there, so they're closer than that. And we got this ship moving in front too, so that confounds things. I don't know if we need to take that one out as well. And now, now I can't tell where my splashes are happening or not. So that's fun. Let's see. 47. Splash or no splash? Okay. 49 and a half. They got me. I could still work on this a little bit. 50, 51 and a half. Maybe all, all of those test shots I was, I was trying were worthless because uh, they're obscured by the other ship, so they can also be obscured by their uh, fire splashing. That's great. Let's see if we can get this guy. 82 and a half. That's too far. 80 and a half. Too far. 69 and a half. Too far. 66 and a half. Short. See eight and a half. Long. See seven and a half. Still want to take this guy out. Long. See seven. Got it. Okay. Now let's move on to this guy. I've only got two ships left, so maybe that was a bad strategy. Long. Forty-seven. Let's see. Long. Forty-three and a half. Long. 30 and a half. Long. 22 and a half. Short. 23 and a half. Short. Oh no. It's not looking great for us. 24. 25 and a half. Let's go spam it. Oh, no, we're long now. Not a good strategy to spam, spam it, actually. 27 and a half. Oh. Okay. It's gotta be... 26 and a half, right? We got it. Okay. Now let's move on to this ship. Oh, man. That was a bad decision right there. Okay. Got a game over. Let's try it again here. 
Oh, no, we can't just type. That would be, that would be obscene. Uh, we gotta use the joystick. Alright, let's continue. Let's try it again. See if we can get through it. Here in Beachhead. Let's do one again. Because we still didn't get fast on skill one. I don't think we're going to do uh, too well on another skill. Alright, let's skip that first level. I wonder if you can bypass this by, like... Getting this other guy to target you and then going around him somehow. And going directly to the beachhead. Let's see how we do with the planes and the ships this time. You can also use that long and short instead of looking at the splashes. On the, uh... On the 250mm cannon. But we're back on the uh, on the trusty 40mm here. Let's see. I think you can just... You can just blast on this and it doesn't matter. I could be wrong. I can just hold down the button. There we go. Oh no, they got me. There's no communication of, like, what the progress is here. They're missing something, but... There we go. Let's see if we can do it this time. And the, the numbers change every, every game. It's randomized, so... Even though they are a distance that's, like, between a range, I think... Uh, it's not the same distance every time, so. Let's see how this goes. 82 and a half. Long. 64 and a half. Long. 49 and a half. Short. Eight and a half. Short. Sixty-two and a half. Long. Sixty-one and a half. So they got me. Sixty. Sixty and a half. Okay. Let's see. Short. So it's got to be sixty-one, right? It's worth it to take that out, right? Okay, got him. Okay. Move on to this next ship. Oh man, okay. Let's see how that goes. Long, 75. 62. Short. 69. Long. 68 and a half. They got me. Uh, 68 and a half was long. 67? Long. 65? Got him. Okay. Making some progress. We got some ships this time. So maybe you do need to hold on to your ships. Maybe it does carry over. I feel like we have more ships this time. I could be wrong on that.
See how 36 does. Was that long? 30. No, they're close. Okay. Short? 22, 24. Oh no, they got me. Got him. Okay. Let's get this last ship and see uh, if we move on to the tank level. 57. Long. Let's try it. 47. Long. 38 and a half. Short. 46 and a half. 45. Oh, got him. Okay. At long last. We're going to reveal more of Beachhead here. Get ready, player one. Are you ready? Now let's go in here. To the Beachhead. But first, we're going to have to do uh, some tank driving. It's interesting that it's decided to try to cram as many different game modes as possible in. So we got our tank. We can blast here. I'm not entirely clear if you can speed up or slow down. Or just go up and down. But after this is the final level, uh, where we will be trying to, I think, take out the final, uh, like, gun on the beachhead. It's a big gun, and, uh, so we gotta take out some targets on it to destroy it before it destroys us. And if it destroys us, it kicks us back to this, uh, tank level before we get back up to it. So our tanks are a number of lives for that whole sequence. But also, uh, if we lose that, uh, that first time, this level will be completely different, so we'll see. See how that goes for us. Or we can get one. I don't know. Alright, here we go. So there will be some linking targets that we try to take out uh, with our gun, and we can move up and down, left and right, similar to the other uh, ship blasting level. I don't know how many we'll have to take out. I think maybe three? Four? Let's find out. It's pretty precise. Okay. And I don't think we're going to make it. They got us. Okay. And now, uh, this tank level... <laughs> this tank level, I think, is going to be much harder now. So... Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to show you uh, beating Beachhead today. We'll find out. Uh, this is going to be the last run for me. Not, not this tank run, but, like, this uh, packet of lives before I get a full game over. Let's see. I'm not sure how many different how many different uh, take levels there are because uh, it's a similar pattern where if you get past uh, to the the boss and then die there again, you get a different level layout again. So I'm not sure how many of those there are. Man, because you can see <laughs> they really just up the difficulty here uh, compared to the other tank level, in my opinion. Got some good uh, slowdown here. That's what everybody loves in an action game. And I don't know what the collision detection is, really. So. Never know what you're going to get in these 8-bit games. Are we home free? Not quite. Let's just dump. Oh man, that was close. Maybe I shouldn't just dump. I thought it was at the end already, though. So. Oh, here we are. Okay. See if we can do this fast enough. I don't know. <laughs> Tricky, man. Uh, if you think you can do it faster, you should try it yourself. Uh, there are keyboard controls, so you could play it in browser. If you like. 
Uh, the link is in the description below. Like why? Why? <laughs> why is that? Why is that not hitting? None of those hit. So <laughs> I guess we'll get to see another uh, another uh, tank level layout here. Let's find out together. I'm not sure why the loading is quite so long for these reloads, but I guess it is loading an entirely different little mini game. So yeah, we're tanks visually represented there, lining up. Is this the first layout again, or no? No, it's not. So maybe we'll see as many uh, layouts as we can, at least. Oh man. Those enemies have a pattern where if you try to shoot them and like try to dodge their bullets, they will move alongside you and dodge your shots. So you don't have to make fancy AI to make AI that's hard. See if we can see the boss again here. That's close. Now let's just start dumping. Hi. Man. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, let's put like every new unfamiliar form of collision detection in our game. And that can be uh, the mechanic that you learn. I feel like that's what I'm fighting every level is like what what is the collision detection for this level? about half the battle. I'm kind of curious now, like, what is the variety in all these ports? Like, are all of these pretty much this? I'm guessing this is pretty faithful to the C64 version, but you know, once you get into like, like, why was there a 1987 MSX version of this? What were you doing with your life at that point? We threaded the needle. Okay. Oh man. Okay. Get to do this again. Get ready, player one. Shoot the blinking dot. How hard could it be, right? Not that hard, you would think, but... As I'm uh, thoroughly demonstrating... Is the, does our progress on the dots carry over? That'd be cool. If so... Uh, I don't know how many tanks we have left. Let's see. I also don't know what this level layout is going to be. We're about to find out. Got two tanks left. Okay. Not looking great uh, for our team here on Beachhead. I gotta say. These enemies also have the mechanic where, like, as you get closer to them, they fire faster. Which is... Why would you, why would you do that? Why would you do this? Why would you do any of this?
I wonder if these levels are just like randomly generated from a fixed seed and that's how they decided to do it and that's why they're like this in a way like oh yeah that's a that's a random level that's good enough sure ship it don't know uh, how I'm supposed to get through there um but I got a score of 39,800 I think that was more yeah let's let's uh, register that uh, because that's one for the record books, you know? Uh, I'm sure nobody can beat that. It's like an all-timer, right? Uh, okay. Uh, we could press space or trigger to continue, but I think that's going to do it here for me with Beachhead for Wazadate. And if you like action games for the Apple II like this, then go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for our next Wazadate.